What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new news video. Today what I have for you guys are all the rewards that you can get during the Season 5 Reloaded update. I like to make these videos before the update goes live because I want you guys to know exactly what to grind for before the update even drops because with the insane amount of content and different rewards that you can claim, you don't really have that much time to get them and most of these rewards are only for Season 5 Reloaded and will be going away permanently. So I want to make sure that you guys get all the rewards that you possibly can. We'll also have another version of this video going up after the Reloaded update so that way I have a guide to help you guys get the rewards rather than just informing you on them. But one thing I do want to mention is yesterday I double uploaded, talked about the entire Season 5 Reloaded blog post as well as covered all the upcoming Season 5 Reloaded bundles. So we got Mace, the Tomb Raider bundle, we got 21 Savage, a Dark Matter bundle coming in. There's so much different items. Make sure to check that video out because apparently notifications were not being sent out for that video. But anyways, let's go ahead, let's jump back into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is that I would highly recommend that you get all these rewards and mainly for the reason that they're are also going to carry on forward to Modern Warfare 3. So if you're not a fan of MW2 right now, you may end up being a fan of MW3 and you're going to regret not getting these rewards right now. So it is very important, especially if you plan on purchasing Modern Warfare 3 to claim these rewards. Now let's jump into the first set that we have. This is going to be the classified battle pass sector that's going to be unveiled tomorrow when the update goes live. There's going to be a total of five different rewards, which will consist of three brand new DLC weapons, which will carry on over to Modern Warfare 3. And two of them are going to be double Double weapon XP tokens and the good news is you do not need to own the battle pass to unlock this sector here are the challenges that you need to complete to unlock the pickaxe melee weapon you will need to get 15 operator kills with a melee weapon and you can do this in either warzone or in multiplayer the second challenge that we have which is going to unlock you the pistol is going to be get 15 operator headshot kills with pistols and then to unlock the last weapon which is the lockman shroud all four initial sector e0 challenges need to be completed i'm not exactly sure what the challenges are for the double weapon xp tokens but we'll figure that out when the update goes live but these are the first set of rewards that you can get now they will stretch on over to even more rewards which means that you'll be able to get yourself a total of 10 brand new camos because two of them are going to be available with the new pickaxe which you'll need to do some challenges for in order to like get it gold and all that but on your way there you're going to be able to unlock two different camos and then for the pistol you'll be able to unlock four different camos by completing challenges with it like getting eliminations or, you know, doing the regular challenges that you do with every weapon. And then the Lockman Shroud is also going to have four unique camos that you're going to be able to get rewards for. So these are 10 brand new camos that come along with these brand new weapons. Sadly, I don't have any photos to share with you guys until the Reloaded update goes live. But these are all the different rewards that you can get just from this classified Battle Pass sector. Going on to the next thing that we have are going to be the brand new events. So we're not going to receive one, but two brand new events. One of them is going to be the Weapon Camo Challenge, which is very straightforward. There's going to be two different camos that you're going to be able to unlock. They did show us photos of them right here. One of them is like a pinkish reddish color. The other one is more of an orangish color. I don't know if they're really animated or not. You can't tell from the photo, but one of them you will unlock by completing a sector. So if you complete the assault rifles, you'll end up getting one of the camos for the ARs. Once you complete every single one of them, you'll be able to unlock the second camo. And that usually also comes with some sort of a mastery charm. But here are all the challenges if you're interested. So assault rifles get 20, 250 operator kills. Battle rifles get 40 operator kills while prone with the battle rifle. Marksman rifles get 40 operator kills while using a suppressed marksman rifle. Launchers get 75 enemy kills using launchers. LMGs get 30 operator long shot kills using an LMG. By the way, launchers you can do in DMZ. Melee weapons you can also do in DMZ, which is get 30 enemy kills using melee weapons. Handguns get 50 enemy headshot kills with a handgun. Once again, can do DMZ. Shotguns get 3 operator kills without dying 10 times. SMGs get 100 operator headshot kills with an SMG. And sniper rifles get 50 operator headshot kills with a sniper rifle. So once you complete all that, you will unlock yourself three brand new rewards, two camels and one charm. But going on to the next thing that we have, this is going to be the second event that we got. And this is going to be the new vehicle camel challenge. The good news that I can tell you here is the rewards are actually going to be good. And they're not only going to be vehicle skins. Because I thought if they're only going to be vehicle skins, not many people are really going to grind them that much. But there's going to be a brand new weapon blueprint, a loading screen, an emblem, and a bunch of others and here's how you get them so you'll need to complete six of these following challenges unlike the camo challenge where you'll need to complete every single one of them to get that second camo this one you'll only need to do half of them but the jltv is get 30 enemy kills by running them over with the vehicle which you can do in dmz armor truck is dmz only ram 5 enemy vehicles at high speed the atv stay in the air while in the vehicle for 15 seconds the heavy tank get 20 operator kills with either turret the hatchback get 10 operator kills while leaning out of the vehicle 
Light Helo, refuel your helicopter at 10 different gas stations. PWC, visit five points of interest while driving a vehicle. Armored Patrol Boat, get 20 enemy kills with the boat turret, which you can do in DMZ. Dirt Bike, perform 20 air tricks with the dirt bike. The MRAP, get 30 operator kills using the turret on the MRAP. So for the MRAP one, you'll be able to do that in uh, Armored Royale, which is going to be the new mode, which will have that vehicle. But by doing six of them, you will unlock the weapon blueprint loading screen and an emblem. And for each challenge that you do, you will unlock a vehicle skin for that particular category. So from this event alone, there's 15 different rewards. One thing I do want to clarify is not all these rewards are going to carry forward. So for example, if we don't have an ATV or a dirt bike in Modern Warfare 3, then there won't be any vehicle skins I'll carry on over into that Call of Duty. Just want to clarify that. But going on to the next set of rewards that you can get, this is going to be the Vondel Champion Quest rewards. I do believe they're only going to be here for the rest of Season 5, and then they're going to get updated with different ones. And here's what you get from that. So first, you have the Gamma Power Lockman Sub which also has tracer effects, by the way. So this is one of the only ways that you can get a tracer weapon blueprint for free. The second one is you're going to get a weapon charm. Then you have an emblem. You have a weapon sticker as well as an animated calling card. And in order to be able to get this, you'll have to be able to get a Vondo nuke, which is actually pretty difficult to complete. But if you're able to, then you can get these rewards before they end up resetting for season six. But going on to the next thing that we have is going to be the prestige rewards, which you can actually get any time. It doesn't have to be right now during season five. But as of right now, the level cap for season five is going to be 1050 if you're already close there then you might as well get there once you get to the level cap that will unlock you the ak-74u weapon blueprint which it doesn't have any tracer effects or anything like that on it but this is what it looks like a little showcasing of it but you'll be able to get that as well as like some calling cards and stuff like that the next thing we got is going to be the dmz rewards so shadow company is going to get all brand new challenges so we have shadow company tier three four and five missions by completing these missions and doing these challenges, you will be able to unlock rewards. They didn't mention exactly what the rewards are going to be. They just said for your efforts, there are redacted rewards waiting for you, including some that can be carried forward to Modern Warfare 3. Now, typically the things that carry forward are weapon blueprints, camos, as well as operators. So it potentially will have some good rewards that will be a part of this. Once we have exact photos and know exactly what's going on, I got you guys with a video. But as of right now, that's the only update or only new content in terms of rewards that you're going to be able to get from DMZ. So no new weapon case or anything like that. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that the soap operator, as well as the animated camo that we saw in the faction showdown event, there haven't been any mention of them in the blog post. They haven't really said anything about how you'll be able to get these rewards and if you'll be able to get these rewards. So my guess is that if there is any information, we're probably going to get it with tomorrow's update. So maybe soap as an operator skin will be available in DMZ or something like that. Who knows exactly what will happen? But once we got a little bit more information on those rewards, I got you guys with the video. One other thing that I also wanted to share is this brand new Alex operator, which I've never seen before. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Do you think this could also be a potential free reward? Or do you think this is going to be available in some sort of a store bundle? Typically skins that look like this, I usually see them as being free, but as of right now, I have no idea. And I, it was just like a photo that they had in the blog post that I couldn't help but notice. But what are your thoughts and opinions on that? But anyways, that's all that I got for you guys in today's video. I will have an updated version of this video going up once the reloaded update goes live. So I'll have photos for you guys. I will have a guide on how to complete the event challenges that we have because there's going to be two different events with a bunch of challenges. There's also going to be other types of things that are going to be coming in. So if you guys want help on how to complete all those challenges, I got you guys with a video. But anyways, it's been your boy Trizzo. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.